Today we're going to share some tips and tricks that we learned while making our leather strap stool. DIY is a lot of trial and error, so we thought we'd share with you some of the things that we learned to help you out on your next DIY. So the first tip that we're going to tell you is to use the long nose staple gun on harder to maneuver applications. Because our stool was very narrow and had a lot of bars to work around, we quickly decided that the long nose staple gun would be the best because it easily places staples in hard to reach places. We recommend this helpful tool on applications such as this. The second tip we learned while prototyping our leather stool is to make sure to test your leather dye color and your method for dyeing on a scrap piece of leather before applying it to your application. And we know this might sound like a given for experienced leather crafters, but it's important nonetheless. The color you choose and how you apply your dye will affect how your finished leather piece looks. We found that using the dauber to apply our dye produced a unique and rustic look, which is what we were going for. You can also dip dye your leather to create a more uniform look. It's totally up to your personal preference, so we recommend testing everything out before you dye your project. Lastly, our third tip is to use tools to properly tension your leather strips. Because we were using a staple gun, we wanted to find a way to safely tension our straps without our fingers getting in the way. And the solution that we came up with was a spring clamp. Spring clamps are strong enough to hold your leather tight, but it also won't mark it because of the rubber on the ends. If you'd like additional help assembling this project, we also recommend weighing down the stool with a sandbag so that it won't shift around while you're working. And that's it for our Tuesday tips. If you haven't already seen our latest DIY, make sure to check it out in the description below. And if you want to see more DIYs, product videos, and tips, make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you'll never miss one of our videos.